Hey Virgo, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're going to do your end of October read, just kind of a touch up, since it's not the full second half. But if it's yours, you'll know. If it's also not yours, you'll know, you know. So let's see, Virgo, what can we say about end of October for you? One... Two and three. All right, so we have got Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, and the World. I feel like you're sticking in on something. Um, I feel like this is more obligations as opposed to feeling trapped or fearful or, you know, that kind of thing. Because the Page of Wands, it... <laughs> Let's me know that you're able to take some action, maybe not as much action as you would like. But the world says it's showtime. Like, you know, it kind of is wrapping up. Curtain call, roll credits, on whatever this is. King of Swords. You get to be decisive. You get to kind of be more of the shot caller as opposed to the person who's kind of, um, kind of just doing what you're obligated to do staying on top of things five of wands yeah there could just be kind of like pettiness that you just don't feel like showing up to where you're like that's not my problem that's not my wheelhouse that's not my thing strength i feel like you're exhibiting a certain level of um not toughness but like a stick with itness where you're just kind of rising above it you're not buying into it because you also know that this is coming and you can be like oh remember that nope yeah, eight of pen, a knight of pentacles. So you are able to kind of pivot and move in a better direction than what's going on here. Um, like I said, it just it's like it's closing out, especially with this world. And I'm glad because Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's a clarity that's coming. It's kind of like anything that was wishy washy or not cool gets called out, and you're like, and there it is. And you get to <laughs> in the Virgo intuition way, you're like, told you, um, but in like the best way possible. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. You leave it in the past. You're on to something new. Wheel of Fortune. It's like you know this is coming. You're just sticking it out for just a skosh longer. And you're, you're rising above it. I don't think you're buying into any of it, even if other people are trying to bait you and being like, come on, Virgo, come on. Come on, be petty, tussle. You know, because if a Virgo wants to lay you out, they will. And, um... But you're not doing it, so good for you. But when when the time comes, you're like, told you. And then you get to be like, do-do-do, king of swords. I get to go do my thing now. You get freed up, which is nice. So, let's see. What else do we need to know for Virgo? Seven of swords, there she is. Yeah, you just, any kind of junk that's going on high priestess you already know it yeah you're just like uh-huh you're like come on other shoe get to drop in because it's the page of pentacles ten of cups there's almost like a rejoicing like once this whole shift happens you're like and i'm going on my merry way that was temperance wanted to come out didn't commit though so high priestess what does for five of wands there it is again you're like uh-huh petty Pull up in your pedicopter. Eight of Swords. Once you, same thing. So yeah, you do feel kind of like hemmed in right now, but the switch is coming where you can be like, and there it is. So enjoy that moment, Virgo. Because then you're just back on your own path, doing your own thing. Yeah, you're watching. You're waiting. What about it exactly? Yeah, you get back on track. You just, it's almost like your eyes on your own work. You're like, I don't care what they're doing. I got my own stuff to do. Yeah. So the rose. You're waiting for stuff to grow, do its own thing. The rose becomes a bouquet, becomes a garden, becomes an offer outside of that. So what is that about specifically? The fox. Yeah. There's a waiting. There's a cunningness. You're biding your time with something. You're only, it's the safe. You know what's important and you're, you're keeping whatever you need to close feel like that's you 
even if it's a woman, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there's a watching and waiting element where you're just like, come on. Um, like I said with the high priestess, you know this. Like, no one needs to tell you. And any kind of pettiness, you're just sticking it out. Because once, you know, that world card pops in, you're on like a whole other track. So Virgo, just stay the course. And, you know, when it flips, don't come down on anybody too hard, all right? <laughs> That's what I have, and I'll talk to you later.